God dang it. <laughs> How's the weather down there, my friend? Man, it's so freaking beautiful, man. Oh, my God. It looks like it's about 70 today. Uh-huh. I haven't been outside today, man. That's the benefit of being an entrepreneur. You've been outside today? I'm going to get some of that good vitamin D, my brother. I got to go. Man, Gotta go get some of that vitamin D. D. I probably do like three miles, man. God. Give me a good three miles in. But I don't jog the whole way, now. on and off. That's cool. Intermittent. That's good for your heart rate. Heart, heart rate. You know, I miss running, dude. I used to run three miles a day for 10, 12 years, man. Wow, really? No. Yeah. When you going to start back tomorrow? Well, I hurt my back, Eddie, and my running days are over. Okay. He told me that I was uh hitting my disc, one of my discs, and then ruptured my disc. Mm. So I gotta be thankful for what I have, not what I've lost. Be thankful for what you yeah. have and what you don't have, you know. So I do agree, my brother. You gotta be thankful. How, so many, um, so many times we be focused on the negative when there's so much other positive going on. That's why they say when you wake up in the morning, you want to get gratitude, thank God, and be thankful, and grateful for everything you got. And guess what? Right. The rest That's of the right. day goes smooth, my brother. That's right, man. Greetings, class. Daniel, thank you for your love offering. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. We're out here working. We're out here working in these streets. That is so cool. If you got any questions, we'll get right to you first, Daniel. Thank you. What is that? Somebody blowing you up? Man, welcome back, brother Chris. Y'all are blessed, brother Chris. He made it back on a nice, safe vacation. Hey, man, welcome back, brother Chris. I, I can hope see you had a blast, man, and just relax. Just in a good, positive vibration, man, with your kids and family, man, looking at the water. Man, it was something, Eddie. I mean, just a <laughs> good God. Let me see if I got some quick pictures for you. I should have brought them up before we got online. This joint, um, we were able to go down an inner tube, and we're in Jamaica. They have a river that goes down, Eddie. You get to get on this river. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's unbelievable. Wow. And you know, when in uh, Grand Cayman, Eddie, they don't have a, they don't have a, a port, right? Yeah. So if you can imagine, we're sitting in the middle of the ocean, dude. They got boats coming. Five thousand people getting off the boat. I mean, it's crazy. These boats hold several hundred people there. So we're, I'm on the boat. You know, it's almost like you have the little dinghies that go from the boat to shore. Yeah, we're riding on these boats with hundreds of people, man, on to the shore. You know, trying to get to the shore because there are no because it wasn't a port. I had never experienced that before. Wow, and it's really that's cool. a hell of an experience, man. Yeah, man. Let me show you this real quick, then we'll get to rocking and rolling. Class, thank you for joining us today. Here you go. Let me share my screen. This is that river we went down. I'm going to do a whole, matter of fact, I'm doing a complete narration of the cruise. Hopefully, it'll be done by Saturday. That'll be awesome. You're going to post it for it? Yeah, it'll be uh, be able to see it on my YouTube channel. Am I seeing here? Lights, camera, action. This is this river we're going down, right? Oh, wow. We're driving down the... We're, like, do it, this imagine, dude. <laughs> You're in Jamaica. Riding through Jamaican country, my friend. This ain't no... Uh, this is the Jamaica I'm talking about. This ain't no street, city, yeah. urban, urban this Jamaica. Is good stuff, man. This is the knife-stabbing, on-your-own Jamaica, dog. Yeah, it's that good stuff. That's that's what I when I go out of the country, that's what I like to experience the real life stuff. Look at this, dog. So this is a store, Eddie. You can go get your get your get your little drink. So the stores are like just these ten huts here, dude. See, it says bar. <laughs> you can like go in there and get a drink. Like that's that is the store. So we show up to this place, get on these inner tubes. Uh, we're going down the river. 
rivers is crystal clear, dude. But it's not, it's fresh water. So it's going into the ocean. I mean, just unreal, Eddie. So we're, everybody's hanging on. Look at all these people, dude. So we, they just drop us in the river. And we're just going on what? down the river. Uh, going on down the river. Eddie. It's crazy, man. And you got shrimp, fish, crabs. I mean, and man was like, I, you know, you wonder why Jamaicans, are, I mean, why Americans are so big. It was a lot of people that are from other countries in here. But we are so big, Eddie. Like, you can tell an American. Food. Huh? It's fast food. That fast food blow you up so fast, man. It's crazy. They got so many GMOs in that stuff. Yeah. Your, your teeth go to twitch. We're going floating down the river three miles, Eddie. Man, that looks so fun. And it's cool, dude. It is just it's crazy. Hey man, that's what life about experiences. You're right. Moments. You're right, man. I lost the audio. You can you hear me? Can you okay. hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead now. Man, that looks Moment. amazing, man. I bet the kids went crazy. Man, I cannot wait to give you this video. I got a whole narration, man. It's gonna blow your mind, dude. You you wait no, you tell me you thought cruises were boring. Yeah, they were what boring. made you think that? Because <laughs> you just stuck on a big ship. I'm like, man, you can't go around, you can't meet people. Well, you can meet people. I'm, but you know what the experience like when you go to an island, how you was there in Jamaica, you actually met the people. That's what I'm more, I like, that's what I like to do. I see, I see. Interact with the people, and get to know the culture, and, and just, man, get they to know the people. They would love you, Eddie. They would love you. I'm meeting business owners, man. I'm at a, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get into the, I, I do a complete narration class. It'll be up by Saturday morning. Yes. Nice. All right, class, thank you for joining us. I'm hanging out with my boy, Eddie, Mr. Transaction Engineer. Yes, I miss talking to you, my friend. What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back, family. We know we've been off. I heard somebody said I didn't post any video since you was gone, Chris. I've been <laughs> off. <too. laughs> You've been off too, Eddie? Well, it's spring break. It's yeah, spring break, man. Got to enjoy that time with the fam, man. That's right. You can't get it back. Can't get it back. No. So I'm excited. You to can't work this. through it, man. Work. Mm -hmm. up. You got to spend that time with the kids, cause like my first set of kids, I was busy working so much building the business that I didn't really pay attention at those times. Cause you can be with your kids, but really don't be consciously aware of being with your kids. You can be texting on the phone while they talking to you, which is d disrespectful. Cause you need to be focusing on them. Put that phone down. Listen to them so they can have that same respect. Wow. But you could be working like I was growing my business, so I worked so hard, man. Spring breaks, I wasn't there being in the house, but I wasn't really focused on spending quality time with them. So, you know, I learned that. I became more conscious of it. So now I make sure I don't do that now. So I give them as much attention as I can. You know, I think a lot of us, including me, we're not one thing. My mentor told me this back in 05 being aware and mindful of every moment, you know, being <clears throat> mindful of stuff, Eddie. I don't think we're mindful when we're trying to go where you're just grinding. Yep. Yep. You're right, man. We're grinding. and worried about everything else, man. Focusing on worried about yesterday and thinking about tomorrow, but we're missing now. Wow. The most important time is now. So we're missing those moments in and now because we're thinking about yesterday and tomorrow. Eddie, you there? What happened to the man thing? Eddie, are you okay? Eddie, is it me? Okay, well, I guess Eddie will be back, class. Thank you for hanging out with us today. I'm presuming that he will come back. I still got to give you what you need so you can proceed with your business. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> Here is the subscribe. Make sure you click that button below and make sure you hit the thumbs up. You back, Eddie? Yeah. I missed all that, dude. I missed all that knowledge. Drop that again. Sorry, guys. I had a little technical difficulties. 
what, what you were saying something about missing the day and not and thinking about you were dropping it, thinking about yesterday oh, and tomorrow. I was just saying how we, we we're all so guilty of, of thinking about yesterday and thinking about the future that we miss what's happening right now, what's going on in our life right now. We could be at a birthday party, but we still worried about what somebody said about you or this problem or that problem that we miss what's going on right now. Enjoy this birthday party, enjoy this wedding, enjoy this celebration. Man, we gotta enjoy this, man, because hey, that's the only thing we take with us. The experiences. We you can't know. take the money with us. No, you can't. Even though you gotta make sure you have some money and be mindful and keep money coming. But you challenging you're in your deathbed, man, you're not worried about oh shit. I'm gonna spend the last million dollars. I got an hour left. Hey, <laughs> no, man. <laughs> you think about your loved ones and all that stuff. You're right. People wow. you care about. What I remember you did what you experienced and the fun you had. You know, I was. I remember one time I was on a plane, a very bad turbulent plane. We almost I mean, anyway, it was bad. I was the only Ooh. thing I was thinking of was my family. You know, I didn't think about no money, none of that crap, man. It's, man, now, when the planes do that, man, it had me a little nervous. Boy. <laughs> this was I was on a small one, dude. The people around me throwing up with the bags. I thought it was over, dude. It was back in two thousand nine, Eddie. My, I remember this. I was small. People were throwing up. The plane was just literally, dude. I mean, it was going so much. People were getting out of there, bouncing out of their seats. Oh my! God. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> in Minnesota, they have in Minnesota. They have tornadoes. I don't know if you know that, but they have something that they call thunder snowstorms. Lightning, dude. It's just sick out there, man. But anyway, so well, all right. I know you guys will happen to get up and make it off that plane. Man, you don't want to be in Minnesota anyway. Ain't nothing out there, man. Class, thanks for joining us. I'm so honored to be in your presence. And Eddie, you know, in my mission to raise your financial literacy <clears throat> through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. My ministry. I just wanted to before we get into the subject to our topic for today, brother Eddie. I wanted to just show with class. Everybody always wants to know how you find stuff, how you find stuff. I'm on the other side. You know, when you own a bunch of houses, people market uh -oh, to you marketing. too. Huh? <laughs> I said they go to marketing material. Yeah. So it ain't like I don't even have to create the stuff. It's already created for me. So I'm going to eventually do a class here. Well, when you own houses, the real estate investors try to market to you. So I'll go. This is, I don't, this is just a few months of stuff that I've gotten. I mean, I got letters here, Eddie. Look at this, piled up, yellow letters. I open this one here. This, people want to know how you're finding deals, right? I mean, this, I don't think it's rocket science. Well, this dude didn't do a yellow letter. So he's got a regular letter here. He did a white one. White letter. He hey, said, Christian. everybody doing yellow. Let me switch to white. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to read it, what he says? Yeah. I've taken the time to write you this letter in reference to your property at blank. Oh, damn. Shoot, he's trying to get me on all the houses. Huh. Dang. <laughs> oh, he's doing his research, Chris. Yeah, he is. He got me. I'm interested in, po in a possible purchase of your of the above-mentioned property or any other property you may be interested in selling. I would like to make you an all-cash offer, as is, and can close in seven days. <laughs> give me a call anytime to discuss this matter at blank. Yeah. Hey, man. I make all the guy. But these are just letters. I wish you could see. Yeah, class. This is just like about a month of just letters that have come, met, postcards, letters. There is no, I get, I don't know, Eddie. I don't know about you, but I get people sending me emails all the time. What is the secret? The oh, secret you get emails? Oh, you talking about, about Mark? Wow, well, how can I find it? It's just so, I mean, it's, there's, there's no secret. Man, but that direct mail, man. Now, you see all that mail, man. You got to, it's different for me now. It, it's different in different areas. Mm -hmm. But that direct mail is not working too much down here in my area. Where you it's at? It's like a million people mailing to the same list, man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. But but at the end of the day, Eddie, you have to be in the oil field to strike oil. You can't dig yeah. over there. Where you at? Yeah. Did you move? I can't see you. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay, good. You got to be in the oil field, brother, to strike oil. I remember reading Dan Kennedy's book talking about that, saying that, you know, it's not it's not super hard to strike oil when you're digging in the oil field. But still, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, that's right. 
Huh? Shit, he, he, he right. I'm just saying, you got to be playing the game, dude. It ain't like you got to put all your money in direct mail, but uh, at least have, have put some out there. I don't know what you got to do. Hmm? You got to do something. But, you know, different areas, different stuff work. Yeah, that's true. Different areas. But, Eddie, let me ask you. Is there a secret? Everybody thinks that you, there's one thing. There's one thing to get a getting subject to deals or whatever. In your opinion, is there a secret to get a uh, one thing that you can do to get subject to deals? Let me tell you guys the main, the magic secret, the magic, the magic, the magic secret to get these deals. It's one major, major magic secret, guys. And guess what? Marketing. <laughs> you gotta market. There's no one way. There's no one way. I'm. You gotta do multiple things, man. My thing is get you a list if you're working with a list, or you got. Yeah, you gotta have a list. Get you a list and hit them all type of different ways, several ways. You wanna call them. You wanna send. A, you wanna call them, send a letter to them, text them, um, voice blast, voice email blast. them. You want to hit each lead at least four, four or five times, man. Mm -hmm. But you got to go different approaches. Everybody's different. Everybody, we all, all, we all are different. So some people like to check their mail. Shit, I check mine once or twice a month. The mailman mm -hmm. probably hates us because it just piles up. I'm going to be honest with you. So we check the mail because, you know, you pay everything online. So shit, why well, I need to go to the mailbox for it? That's a good point. <laughs> you know what's due, huh? Yeah, like it's not like back in the day before that you could pay all your bills online and they email you your statement. You had to go get your bills, but now mm -hmm. all the important stuff. Come on, man, you, it's emails and stuff like that. So you got to think about that. But some people check their mail every day. You know, to know, each I his know. own. Some people check their emails every day. Some people don't. So man, that's a good point. Each his own. You just wow. got to keep hitting them several different ways. That is such now, a I do know older people check their mail a lot because that's what they're used to. I would say probably like, what, 50, 60 or older? What you say, Chris? Yeah, I would say uh, 55 yeah. plus. 55. Yeah. My brother doesn't check his mail, but once I mean, shit, because, you know, a lot of people, Eddie, I don't know about your area, a lot of people don't have mailboxes on their house. Man, I'm tired of mail, man. All that shit coming to my mailbox. I'm tired of it. Stop mailing mm -hmm. me. <laughs> It does. You're right. It stacks up, right? Sorry, guys. I had to spaz for a second. This is so cool. All right. Let me get back to your class. Buying house is subject to. Let's do this. In our, in our efforts, hold up. In our efforts to bring you maximum value, Eddie and I have been working on putting together the subject to course, how to buy houses subject to course. But we wanted to do this today just to go over some of the key points with you, especially the documents. You ain't, you're nothing without your tools. I remember as I get older, I'm like, every man's tools is different, Eddie. Yeah. You know, I'm like, my tools are documents. <clears throat> without that, you're done. I mean, you're nothing. You can't even, you can't put nothing you together. You need a doc. Yeah. You don't have the documents, you can't even do the deal. Yeah, you're done. You know, you're, with the tools that you have, <clears throat> and they're just so important. But I wanted to just go over the tools today, Eddie, and some of the magical languages that you use. I guess we could start with, when you're meeting with the seller, how do you break it down when you're talking to them, Eddie? Obviously, we're not saying subject to. Let me get your take on it. Oh, yeah, before we get before we get started, class, we're going to go, Eddie and I are going to do our back and forth. Then at the end, we'll do Q&A for anybody that has questions. It will be very nice to go over that. We need your input. The questions that you put here, class, are going to be the the points and the outline that will guide us to creating this course for you to help you get your next house subject to because Eddie and I don't need any more house. I mean, we talk all the time. We don't even we don't need any more houses. I, I mean, I, it it doesn't even excite me. <clears throat> We've been doing it too long, Chris. <laughs> now, done, done too many deals, man. Man, people tell me about this house. Oh, you mean you want to see this house, man? I didn't see shit. Thousands of them, man. What's tell me what's the difference? It got a, a nice five thousand dollar sink or something. Shit. That is so. They Eddie. all look the same, man. To me, especially until you get into like million dollar properties, two, three million. But <laughs> man, they all look the same, man. 
Eddie, let me tell you this. Your phone rings. Eddie, I got this smoking deal, the cellar. You're going to love the kitchen, how it's laid out. The roof is new. The windows, the, the way the backyard's laid. What do you say to that person that calls you that, that's a lead, a wholesaler? <clears throat> oh, my God. Send me the pictures, man. <laughs> that's what I tell them. Because, I mean, like I was talking to a lady because I'm looking, we're looking to upgrade, get a bigger crib. But, you know, I'm going to go on subject, too. So, I'm talking to this show. Oh my God! Basketball players stay in my neighborhood. Look, lady, I done not see wow. all the houses. Look, get. <laughs> we gonna do the deal or what? She trying to be tough too, brother Chris. She done fired bank bank rusty um, about three or four times, so she know how to play the game a little bit. Yeah, she does. She got a fifty thousand dollar HOA lien. <sighs> she, but but hey, that turns me on because I know I can get a discount. And she got a second mortgage of a hundred thousand, so I know she's behind on that, and that's gonna be another discount. She, <laughs> it's like a six hundred thousand dollar crib, about six for down here. You get about six, seven thousand square feet for that much. Um, yeah. got a basement like four thousand. I mean, the top, the first top two levels is four thousand or something, and the basement is like two thousand. Nice, it's about six, seven thousand square feet for the houses going for about six hundred. Uh, in fixed up good shape, six hundred thousand. But I like it because it got that second mortgage, which I'm a discount, and they have the HOA lien that I'm a discount. So I'm gonna instantly create some equity. So it turns me on. Like, you know, I'm looking at the deal. My wife, she's looking at the house. I don't give a shit. I'm looking <laughs> at the numbers. <laughs> I want to know what what can I get in this and make this a sweet deal? That's Please. what turns me on. The art of the deal, man. I don't even like telling the wife about the house until I look at the numbers, Eddie. What about you? Well, my wife a little aggressive, so she been, you know, she had agents, so she been finding the properties and sending them to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got it bad. She don't want the VA to work, and she want me to work these. I'm like, man. God. Let me chime in here for a minute. Guys. Me, man. Let me chime in here for a minute. Let's stay here just for a second, then we get on. <laughs> Your wife's an agent. Mine is looking because you know I'm always looking at the foreclosures. The pre now she, I'm coming in the bedroom. She's going through the foreclosure. I'm like, oh my oh, god, shit, it's on now. You, you, I'll get ready to move. You know when the wife get 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 on. Hey, when they ready to go now, you got tightened up. <laughs> All right, subject two, Eddie. Let's talk about what. It, tell us a little bit about the magical language when you meet a seller. Rosanna, thank you, thank you, Rosanna. Hey, Rosanna. <laughs> <laughs> Rosanna, look, I'm trying to plan a trip to California. You got to tell me some good places to go where the beaches are and stuff. I know Let she know. knows, man. She is fly, dude. You see her channel, man. She's doing, doing some popping stuff. Rosanna, yeah. I need, my fact, I want to get you, uh, for, I've been meaning to email you next Monday, please, for my Monday Masters. <clears throat> I'm going to reach out to you after this for that uh, H, what is it? H, housing choice voucher. Thank you, Rosanna. Thank you. God bless you. Starbucks. Eddie, tell me about the magical language. When you're meeting with a seller, you already know. Forget all the back stuff. You you have already pre-qualified them for subject to and subject to only. Tell me about a little bit about the language. Eddie and I are going to share both of our negotiating styles on that. Tell me when we close closing the transaction out. Yes. Oh, we them. already closed it up. No, this is when you're getting them. You know, obviously, I want my family, my Roundup family to understand that you don't go up to the seller and say, hey, we're going to buy your house subject to. <laughs> they say, what the? What are you, what are you smoking, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> so so let I us just, Hey, I just basically said we're going to take over your payment. The loan is going to stay in your name. Our entity, our company is going to take over the payments and all the responsibilities associated with the house. That's it. You're free to go to do whatever you want to do. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to take care of the house. That's that. Wow. Say that, that again is, for people that didn't catch it. That was, wow, that was pretty damn, that's short. Yeah, I don't like to go. I'm I'm short straight to the point, man. I, I hate going, talking to sellers that want to talk five hours. Look, we're going to do the deal or what? Well, Sometimes you got to be patient, depending on the, the the deal if you want it. So well are you are you closing them as you are getting okay, as you're looking at the numbers, you're seeing there's no equity. Obviously we have pre qualifiers that makes it a subject to I are got you, one today that came in the got one a thousand bucks. Sign wow. it over. Wow. 
Wow. And the only the only part that this got into, got me a little emotional, you know, he got cancer. They gave him six months to live, man. He already he he done checked out, man. He don't give a shit. Wow. He get ready to go to a hospice. Oh shit, yeah, he's done. Yeah, he's man. Done. I hate that, man. God bless, bless you, bro. That goes back to what we were saying earlier, man. <laughs> Let me shake it up. All right, man. Let's go. Yeah. You know what, Eddie, man? You know what's weird? That stuff starts to weigh on you when you see so many, you know, I've had the flesh eaten. I've had the go to jail, the dying. The, I had one dude kill himself in the house. You know, I mean, the stuff starts. Yeah, to... man. I had one kill himself too. Shit. Yeah. I walked in the house. A guy was had hung himself. Oh, I think God. I told you about that. He was in the garage. Wow. Man, I tried to get, and there was a car in the garage, so I didn't know if it was um any any people in there just hung them or something. Man, I got out of that garage so got dog on fast. I like to ran through the door. Wow, man! <laughs> Unbelievable. Man, it's, sure it's, hey, it's some interesting stuff in real estate. I didn't go into another house though for about thirty days, man. I waited. <laughs> hey, I had to get, I had to build my, I had to build my car, car Jones back up, man. Yeah, that's rough, man. Mm. Yeah, what so, were you saying though? Yeah, well, you're, are you closing them? As you are, you getting them? Are you priming them as you're starting to recognize that this is going to be a subject too, Eddie? Are you priming them like you ain't getting no money here? I, you know, I thought look at the numbers and look at the pictures. Shit, I'm, I'm basically going in and letting them know what what all we can do. I want subject two first, then if I can't get subject two, and second best is owner financing, and the third best lease purchase. But if they're behind on payment, it, no, we're not even discussing lease person. We're talking about nothing but owner finance or the subject to. I want control. So I'm yeah. not giving you no money. You behind on your payments on the lease purchase. That means when I pay you, you're gonna haul ass with the money. Mm-hmm. You no, know, sir. Or mess it up. Hey. So okay, well, I'm not. I don't want to get too. I don't want to go too far off our subject to topic for the day. So <clears throat> you're you you don't necessarily bring it in, introduce it, bring it back and forth, may not be able to help you, might be able to help you. You you just go, this is what I can do. Well, I always, you know, you want to talk about the the, the flaws, if there's some flaws in the property. You know, it like if they got equity. If they got equity, then you know I'm negotiating. Gotcha. Tell them why I can't pay them this amount of equity. I got to catch up the back payments. I got to get the roof fixed. Any repairs I have to do, I'm we got to talk about that when you're talking about getting money back. Mm-hmm. But you know, I want to make it a win win situation, though. I like for everybody to leave happy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. You want everybody to leave happy, but like this guy here, like I turned the deal down because uh, the guy wanted $5,000 and it doesn't have any equity, but it needs carpet because they had cats or dogs. So I got to put new carpet in there, but that's it. So I'm going to close on that one next week. I just got to put carpet in there. Come on, man. I'll probably be out. Carpet closing costs three, four thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Get that right back on the lease purchase. So we'll nice. close it out. Nice, nice. But so see, I he just... had it. I don't think I got the subject. But he wanted five thousand dollars. It didn't have any equity. So I said, no, nah, I'll give you a thousand. <coughs> I really didn't even want the property. Honestly, I was like, whatever. Because it, it didn't turn me on. It wasn't no equity, but you know, you can still it still has cash flow in it. Okay. It's a little far out, but I know the rent probably like an hour from me. Mm-hmm. So, but I just threw a number out there. He jumped on it. So, you know, we rolling with that. But like I said, a deal like that with no equity, you I can't really give you anything. Mm-hmm. No equity. Because you don't have anything for me to give you anything for. I like that one. Well, I guess I'm more, I wanted so, my roundup. Go ahead. So I just go in straight for the kill on that because there's nothing really to discuss. Yeah. You don't have any equity. I mean, the only thing we can do is take over your payments. Mm-hmm. So that's a different conversation than one that has equity. Now you got to negotiate why you can't get them $40,000 <clears> if they got 40000 in equity. Mm-hmm. Now we got to negotiate. But you want to make sure it's win-win, but I wouldn't give a seller. They got 40000 in equity, and I I wouldn't give them forty thousand dollars. Heck no. I may give them ten thousand, 
two or three up front and seven on the back end when the house sells. I yeah. try to come out the pocket up front as least as possible. Good Lord, I guess it must be somebody outside. I tried to put the dogs outside, man. They don't sound too loud to me. Okay, cool. All right, not too bad. <clears throat> I got the choke collar. I got the zap collar on them, so I know they're not going anywhere. I, oh, you do? My neighbor's walking by with a dog, so they're going crazy, man. Yeah. All right, I want people, I want my Roundup family to know that there is not one way. That's why Eddie and I were doing this course together. Eddie has a way to do it. He's more direct. I have a personality that kind of eases into things. You know, it's kind of like I'm, I'm not as direct as Eddie. So I think that it's wonderful that both of us are able to close these type of deals, having two different personalities that works for both of us, Ed. <clears throat> It's I can't see way. you, Chris. You can't see me? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Roundup family, can y'all see me at all? I don't know if it's you or is it the computer? I don't know. Well, let me see. I, um, what else was going to say? We got Damn. terrible difficulty. Maybe my computer went out. All right. You bet. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> I think that it works for both of us. <clears throat> different strategies. Like when I'm going in, Eddie, I'm pushing it in, taking it back. Pushing totally. it in, taking it back. Might be able to do something. I don't know. Maybe be able to do it. We have a program that we might fit in, but I'm not quite sure right now, you know, until I get all the numbers. Well, I think I just wanted to, my, my point for talking about um, getting to the deal is that if there is no one way. Would you agree? <clears throat> no one way. All right, next, Eddie. Let's talk about our oh, authorization boy. to release. And guys, if you're already in real estate, you want to make sure you get some property, man. You want to hold some property. Do not sell every single property, man. You're going to need that residual income coming in every month. And you you start building it one house at a time. But this beat's going to take $100,000 and, you know, buying a, a house that's for 100000 and getting only one payment. Shit, you take that $100,000. And buy so many subject to is crazy. Mm. And you'll get most of your money back in down payments. Mm -hmm. So wow. don't think the traditional way all the time. You know, you get a good lawsuit or whatever, you come into some money, 50, 100,000. I'm going to go sink it into one property. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have anything else to do, do that instead of blowing the money because you know if you blow it, there's no return. So, wow. But if you know the subject to game, you know, you could sit back, man, take that fifty thousand and get your shit. Oh my five, god. Five, Maybe five, 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 six, seven property. Like mm -hmm. I'm getting one for about what thousand dollars to the guy, fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred dollars. So come on, a whole house, guys. Not half a house, not a mobile home. You're getting a whole house, man, twenty five hundred dollars. So man, there's a lot of ways to work that capital. Nice. So let's talk about our first document, that our first tool that we need, Eddie, which is our authorization to release information. Yes, sir. We're going to go down and uh, tell us about yours and how do you explain that to your seller? How do you tell us how you're working that magic? <clears throat> I'll say this, this, sell, this, this document here gives us the right to call into the bank and find out anything we need pertaining to the mortgage. It's only pertaining to the mortgage. Any information pertaining to the mortgage, they're going to let me know I'll be authorized on the loan. I call it any time. I'm seeing your face, Eddie. I can just, I, I sense the spirit that you're saying that is that it's true, that you're serious. You're not there to play around. <clears throat> right. Let's get to the money. That's what I tell us. Get to the money, baby. Is that something that, I mean, tell us about the old Eddie and this Eddie here. Has that been the same since you started or what? What do you mean? The way you're explaining that, Eddie, like you have no... There's no emotion in your face. Probably so. Right now, it's not. I'm just saying, <laughs> when you say that, I can tell that you said it a million times, like my yeah, son. I've said I it so, so many times. I'm, I'm a little cocky now, brother Chris. So they better come on with it. I don't need your house. You need to sell your house to me. It's a, yeah. different, it's a different scenario. You going in, same week, they can smell it. So even if you don't have about one house, don't look desperate. Yes. Yeah. You, like you got a hundred of them. Yes, yes. I can't stress that yeah. enough, Eddie. They can smell you, man, a mile away. When you coming up begging, oh, you just blew it. 
<laughs> Don't come begging, man. Act like you got you got a couple of houses. Yeah. They can't smell it, Eddie. Wow, we have so much to teach about that. We could go a whole day about pheromones coming out. Here. Yeah, we we need to go over that. Some sellers, personality traits and stuff like that. Yeah. But I Very like cool. them sellers. I love the motivated sellers just ready, man. They don't care, man. Let's get that deal done. I love them kind. But you got some, you got to kind of... Hold a hand. Yeah, hold a hand. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, to me, in my in my experience, the the sweetest deals are the ones where you got to bring your skills out and kind of get them to go, you know, kind of program them a little bit. Yeah, that makes it fun. So is this now um, thinking about houses and money, they don't go the same. They don't go together. They just happen to be tied together through our economy. Is this the first document you get, Eddie? Because there's no reason to get anything else. Let me ask you, when did you get this authorization? Um, well, one, the same time we do the contract. So you do the purchase and sale agreement and with the authorization, what if this comes back, not what the seller <clears throat> portrayed it to be? Cause it could be different. What do you mean? What they told you about as far as the loan information? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh shit. Man, that happens a lot. It <laughs> <laughs> happens a lot, man. Especially like if you're dealing with four on um, Pre foreclosures and bankruptcy, man. They sometimes they're not truthful with a lot of stuff. So when um you, I'm thinking about for me. I want to know about for you though. You get the contract and the authorization at the same time, right? That'll lead me to this. Now we only have if we're talking pre foreclosure in Georgia, we only have two or three weeks, so we don't have time to wait around and fax that authorization in. Yes, we're gonna fax it in. But in the meantime, we're going to get on the phone with the seller and do a three-way and have everything emailed or faxed over. It's going to take them about three to five days to get you everything. But we want to um, you fax over the rearages, how much it's going to be to catch it up, and the um, how much it's going to be for the, you know, what's the payout. So we get the payout faxed over and the rearages. Make sure gotcha. you guys get those too, especially in a short state like in Georgia. We only have 30 days, man. Yeah, you guys are very foof. So you're getting both so of these. Right together. on the phone with the seller. We call them to the bank, boom, order that stuff. That way we have it. We ready to play ball. Now mm -hmm. you gotta get it from the attorney office. From the attorney office. Now Georgia is a now you gotta get that, but you also when you got that foreclosure attorney, they have fees tacked onto that. So you gotta oh, call Lord. down to the foreclosure attorney and get that payoff. Cause they're gonna have their own fees. Now I have seen some banks say fax us in the money and we'll stop it from here. And I have seen some um attorneys say, you know, bring the money down <clears throat> there. Wow, yeah. I think I might have seen one bank. I'm nervous about giving the banks money because who knows if the no, bank is talking to the attorney. The no, I'm going to the attorney office. I want to make point. sure it's stopped. Because I've I've witnessed, man, a lot of banks tell people that their um property is not going to foreclose and they foreclose. I have two. I've seen people pay banks. As a matter of fact, my mentor paid a bank eight thousand dollars one time, and they still foreclosed, Eddie. Yeah, because they're not keeping up with that stuff, man. Somebody no. dropped the ball somewhere. Man, these people go to lunch. I mean, they could be on vacation. Yeah, they, they don't took... give a shit, man. It's Heck not no. they have, It's a job. Y'all gotta think it's a job to them. They, they mm -hmm. probably don't like to do. So they like the hell with it. Well, I get back to it when I come back for lunch. They forgot all about you. <laughs> <laughs> now you done lost your house. Yeah. So I tell people, they in pre-foreclosure. I don't care what the bank say. You better call that attorney office, too, and make sure they stop the sale. Yeah, they, both Them of. two can have a different misunderstanding. And if that attorney <clears throat> haven't got it clear, to stop that foreclosure. Yeah, your ass grass. You're done. Because you could, they could, I've seen it. They can literally go down there, do the auction. Auction's over. Your money wired to the bank, Eddie. Then what? You stuck. It's done. <laughs> Still. My hey. boy lost eight grand. Hmm? Yeah. He never got it back. He hired an attorney to get it back and couldn't get it back. No, it's too late. Once they hit that, hit the pool that level. Man, that job done. Okay, so you're getting this and this purchase and sale agreement, Eddie. This is a subject to purchase and sale agreement with the language, the magical language well, it's, that needs it's, to be in it. It's a, it's a standard. Mine is a standard 
agreement, but I just have the subject to language in additional terms. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you're adding that onto it. Yeah, it was a standard purchase sale agreement. We just add in our little st st different stipulations. In a box or a line somewhere. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's where we differ. Every every investor is different. My contract is specifically it has a line right there below the purchase price where you say loan to be taken subject to line right there. Oh man, I need to see that, Chris. Yeah, and the class. If anybody needs the documents, you can reach out to Eddie or myself. I'm not selling them on this one, but our email is in. Both of our email addresses are in the description. Right, we got the documents for you guys. And if you guys need coaching, we we here to coach you. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and don't be yeah, calling up for some for free though, man. I'm like, God, yeah, we're we spent too much money. Calls. <laughs> okay, so the purchase and sale agreement for me, I I want a subject to doc contract edit you have yours in addition to your standard sales agreement yeah. god okay so these two together now eddie a lot of clients that i'm seeing want to move from this let me can i group these together before we get to the other docs the cya letter and the uh power of attorney uh, can i group these together as the first documents that we need <clears throat> yeah those are the first two i have this is all let me ask you eddie is this all you need at this stage of interacting with your seller Yep. All right, get, class. Get in the borrow room. So the next documents that we're getting ready to go over class, you do not need to have your seller fill this stuff out. Have your attorney, or if you have if you have to use a title company, which Eddie's obviously going to say, don't use the title company. Use an attorney. Man, my dog is going crazy. The next three documents that we're going to go over. You get them signed at closing class, at closing. Don't worry about getting all this crap filled out from your seller because it's irrelevant. And they're going to have to re-sign it when they come to closing, okay? All right, so we got a CYA letter. I mean, obviously within an hour, we can't do but so much. Class, please put your questions in the chat box. The questions that you ask us today will help guide us to the course that Eddie and I are making. So the CYA letter, I don't know who invented it, or CYS letter is one of my mentors ca called it, cover your assets or cover yourself letter. It basically oh, yeah. says, hmm? Got to have that. That CYA letter is very important, man. Oh, man, yeah. Matter of yeah, fact, the attorney won't even close it without that one. In my, in my, for my deals, they won't even close them without it. Wow, really? No, nope, they won't even do it because they think they want to make sure that the seller understands exactly what's going, what's on. going on. So yeah, break it they, down. They will try to catch amnesia. So <laughs> oh, I didn't know I was doing that. <laughs> yeah, because it's shit over with. You're not stressed anymore. Now you forgot, huh? Mm -hmm. So yeah. give us your bird's eye 40,000 foot statement of, of what your definition of CYA letter is, my friend. It's just a cover, cover your asset, cover your, your ass, however you want to say it. Hey, That's what it does, man. And I think mine have about 15 or 20 things they got to initial. You got to initial each one and mm -hmm. sign off on it. So basically. Even a school control, you fully understand what's going on. What's going on regarding what? What? Tell us what's going on regarding what, Eddie. I need to spell it out for him. Don't leave it away. What's going on is you're leaving this loan in your name and this guy's taking over the title of this property. Yeah. That's just one of the things. There's so There's many one. in there. Yeah, we can't go over them all right now. It'll be in the course, but uh, Eddie, we want the CYA letter. <laughs> when they're signing it, it, it's explaining to them everything that you're doing, and we have no liability on this loan. We don't even promise to make the payments. Right. We're not signing up because we're yeah, not. We, yeah, we're not promising. I love that part. We're not promising to make the payment. Just in case something happens, you cover, guys. You want to be covered, man. You're just basically covered. Mm hmm because anything can happen, man. So you want to be safe. Like they say, better, better be safe than sorry. That's right. <laughs> the CYA letter. You have to have this, guys. I call it the CYA or cover your assets or cover yourself letter. There's a whole bunch of language in there. I mean, you know, we got an hour here to go over it. Uh, but you have to do If you do not have this letter here that's saying that you are taking over the payments and you're not responsible for the payments, you are done. Don't even think about doing this up to do. Don't even think about it. The done deal, man. Don't do not do one without that letter, guy. Yeah. And I had to use that in court one time with a seller. 
Really? Yeah, I pulled that. What happened? Out. Done deal. What happened, this Eddie? Same guy I had to evict out the house, man. Two or three oh, yeah. Times. Every time it become open, he'll move back in. I remember you telling me that. Tell me about a little bit about that um, <laughs> going to court. No, they, at first, he claimed he didn't know what was going on. He didn't know he was selling his house like this. Come on, guy. You signed off on me. See, the thing was, he this guy, he was a trick, man. I'm going to tell you how he got played. He was dating some some girl, some Asian girl in a whole other country. So he needed the money to move over so she could trick his ass. Trick. <laughs> Let me be nice. <laughs> I'm about to go off, y'all. I'm going to be nice today. So she could trick him to marry, trick him into marrying her so she can be legal. And he went for it. Oh, so he no. needed the $4,000 that bad. He didn't give a crap about his house. But he sold his house. So he got the girl over here. He went and got an apartment. The girl wasn't happy with the apartment, so he wanted a house. So he figured since he sold me the house like that, he he could just move back in. But we closed with an attorney. Good. Just could move back in. I Good. guess he wasn't happy with standing with the apartment because he was sending all the probably all the photos of him in his house and stuff. Yeah, babe, up in the house. <laughs> he sold he the like house. that. Yeah, he act like he was balling, I guess. So, yeah, man, we're going to pay for you to come over here. We're going to be in the house. He done sold the house. He done spent three, four grand to get over here. And she ended up dumping him and everything, man. Good Lord. That's After terrible. he married. Unbelievable. Man. Unbelievable. All right. So, see why letter, that's going to be the language that says, we're taking over your payments. We're buying the house. Loan stays in your name. Yep. All right. Okay, POA, my friend. Power of attorney, my boy, Eddie. Oh, yeah. You got to have that. That's mandatory. Why do we need the power of attorney? The mine is limited. I don't know. But what is yours? What is yours limited to? I think mine is called specific. Specific. Limited. Same thing. Limited specific or specific. Specific power of attorney. Mine give me right to like sign all kind of documents pertaining to the property, anything. Mine too. Mine too. Same thing. I love it. I love it, Eddie. That's why I love talking yeah, to you, man. Because it's come... baby. <laughs> All right. Power. Limited or specific power of attorney, Eddie. Go. <clears throat> why is that crucial? I mean, this document here, dude. I mean, you you, you gotta have them all, yo. Go ahead. Well, these these the shit. It gives you the power, man. You want power. You want that control. 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 Like control. And don't put it in your name. Land trust. God dang it. Land oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I didn't think about that one. Go ahead, tell us about. Well, tell us about why is that so important, Eddie? Tell us why we need to pay your way. Yeah, because you may have to sign any kind of documents pertaining to the property, and if you got that, you don't need a seller anymore. They can be gone to Canada somewhere, and you can sign any documents. Boom, boom, boom. It's power turn. It's power turn. That is very important. That's the hey, All of these documents are important to the subject to deal. See, people think you just get a deed and sign it over. No, Jack. No, sir. No, sir. You got a couple of more good documents waiting. I have done that, though, Eddie. I've I've literally bought houses at someone's kitchen table before. I have done that. You know, I'm Shit, not... me too, man. I had, had overturned. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, but if you do that, yeah, you got to be one that you don't care about. You know, it's got to be something that I could yeah. take it or leave it. Yeah. So you had to, you had yeah, one of these overturns. Tell me about that. Man. If you want to keep it, oh no no no, I'm not advising it. I'm not advising. It. Go ahead. What happened with the over, what that was overturned, Eddie? Now I was I wouldn't say it was overturned. It it just the guys they signed it. It was some shit, man. It was a bunch of bull crap. It was a bunch of bull crap with the with the guys. They signed off on it. And it was notarized, but then they was able to come put my tenants out the property and get the property back because they said you practicing law without a license. Practicing law without a license, yeah. You don't want to do that. Yeah. That's so got, got a lot of teeth. Yeah, you got you God. better go with an attorney, man. Mm -hmm. Close it out with an attorney. So all right, the power of attorney lets you class with this document here. I have been able to cash checks that got mailed to my seller. You can even if you lose this authorization, you can send the bank the power of attorney, and they'll talk right to you. Oh yeah. Any problems That's with that power, man? Every document. Look at that, man. Every document in there is very powerful. Mm -hmm. And it's That's crazy. Right. A piece of paper give you that much power. Something right. Wow. 
That's something. So uh, before I get here, do you have a document that you send to the lender, Eddie, to change over to where they're going to mail the mortgage statements? Oh, yeah. What, what did I call it? I haven't used that in quite a while. I had the power of attorney. Yeah, the mortgage, um, that mortgage document. Mortgage transfer? Yeah, yeah something like that. Wait, did that, that. Is that what necessary? I mean, we don't use them. You could use it if you don't want to call in. You can just mail it. But we typically call in and have it yeah. directly. I do too. Yeah, I just call in too. Yeah. So I have one that I um, actually got one of my mentors, Eddie. Was it just it's an addendum that's in the. Well, then before we go here, do you have any other docs here, Eddie, that we need to go over for this training? Hmm, I think that's it. Okay, this is going to be the meat of what you need to do to close it. I have an additional one that I I didn't necessarily create, but I got it from one of my mentors, uh, Peter. Back dude created this document about. Uh, about filing bankruptcy it just says that the seller agrees that agrees not to file bankruptcy and if they do they leave this house and this loan out of it because it will cause you know all type of financial disaster for me the buyer that's another addendum that i have that comes with docs too Hmm. because you never know they try to file bankruptcy chapter seven eddie wiped that debt out man then you're sitting with the house and the bank's going to try to come for you my brother i had that happen one of my mentors had that happen well, what we do, we buy it like that. We just have re reinstate the loan. Yeah, but if they file a chapter seven, you can't. I mean, they're wiping it all out. There's nothing to restate. Reinstate. They're wiping the debt out. Shoot, down here, down here, they redo it. They wipe it out, but they still let you keep the house because they got to foreclose on it. They have to foreclose on it to take it. Yeah, I mean, that's the battle you have to go. I don't want to go against that battle. I don't want to do that. Yeah. The debt's wiped out, but they still have to come for the house, right? Yeah. Right. I don't want to do that. I don't want to fight that battle. Yeah. Will it will it hold up in court? I don't know. It's just a document, hopefully, that we we'll never have to use. All right, Eddie, anything else you got to add here before we get to our questions, my friend? Um, I think that's it. Nice. So, class, you got it down. I'm get, we're giving you the game for free. This is all for free. We're not charging anything for this one. Eddie and I are just going over that outline. There's so much we're going to give you on this course. I'm just so excited to be a part of your training, brother Eddie, I thank you for allowing me to work with you. Thank you, my brother Chris. You know, every time we do these do these live events, it help us get back focused. That's right. Members right. of different things, different strategies, because when you be in the business so long, you learn so many different strategies and stuff. Then you know, I'd th be forgetting stuff, Eddie. I'll do something for a while, yeah. I forget about it and come. That's why I like doing these. It, it make you remember different stuff, different transactions, mm -hmm. how you did this deal, and how you did done this deal, and that one, and this one. Yep. Frank, hey, we miss you too, my friend. We miss you, Daniel. What's going on? Any questions you got, class, for subject two? Help us create this product for you guys. Hey, Tim. Uh, let's see what we got. Eleanor, I did enjoy my vacation. I'm going to be releasing a full documentary on that. Uh, Hester, hey. Damn, it's a lot of folks on it. Like, yeah, we bless Eddie. And you know what? I was listening to my boy Damon Dash this morning, dude. He was just talking about if you ain't creating content, man. Daniel, what's up, Dane? Somebody said you ain't put no videos out either, Eddie. Both of us are on spring man. break. Look, look, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. You need some time too, dude. Feels good though. Did I buy any houses while I was in Jamaica? I got one under contract, but I lost it yesterday. <laughs> we lost it. I had a the seller wanted me to put down a, a large, I put down an 8,000 earnest money, non-refundable, and they still backed away from it. Robel, hey, Eddie talked to a seller yesterday, said he knew you. Wow. That's it's crazy. Still a word. I guess in Atlanta down, his name was Tommy. You were telling me oh. about the subject too. Oh, Lithonia. Tommy and Lithonia. I don't know. Guys, put your name and your state where you're calling from. Rosanna. Yes, I need to email you today. Eleanor, how you doing? Let's see any questions we got here. 
truly gifted was I thinking about real estate on vacation? Absolutely, man. This shit is on my mind every day. Think about it, class. I don't know about Eddie, but I have to worry about all my central heating and airs, window, windows, roofs. I mean, I, obviously, I'm not in charge of all of it because I do a lot of lease auctions. But at the end of the day, if this stuff breaks and they don't want to fix it, I have to either step in, you know. Do you have any um, – have you ever seen any good results with these um, – them insurance companies, them home, them home warranty. Insurance. Home warranties. I used to use those, Eddie. And then these fools, man. Let me wipe my screen. These fools started to put. They got a big, thick pamphlet that they put out now that says what's not covered. Now, man, there's so much stuff that's not even covered. It's like I don't even because I was paying, <clears throat> dude. I don't even know what times. I'm spending four or five thousand dollars a year in home warranties. Now, let's rewind first. Home warranties were cool back in the early 2000s. They were great because the the deductible, not deductible, the service fee, Eddie, used to be $50. Yeah. Now it's $100. So you're spending $600 a year times, you know, for me, you know, that's thousands of dollars a year. And then you're spending $100 every time they come out. I'm like, I could just put that money to the side and fix any repair. Man, they that's a freaking rip out, man. Then they don't want to fix nothing. Oh, uh -uh. man, they that's have a so freaking rip out, man. We done been through like three or four different ones, man. Still really, the same drum. <laughs> they ain't man, worth my grandma hurt. got a home warranty. Man, they they oh my god, they done fixed her refrigerator ten years straight. Wow. I'm like, look, man, because she had to have them come back out there. I guess it, man, they don't give you a new refrigerator. You don't, for ten years, you don't buy. 1500 refrigerators, man. Yeah, 600 Come a on, year. That's 6,000. She just spent 6,000. And she has spent the, ser the service call, dude. The service call pays for the whole thing, Eddie. Man, I, 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 that's why I asked you because I don't see any benefits from these freaking home warrants. You might as well be disciplined and put it up, put the money up yourself. Just put it away. Put it in another account, 50 to $100 every month. Dude, just put it away. Really, man, man they're they going to come out there, they're going to charge you money. They they uh, don't let the dang on refrigerator or something go completely out. They're gonna want to give you half price. Okay, you your thousand dollar refrigerator went up. We're gonna give you four hundred. Yep, that's exactly what they, they do. They short sell you as soon as they come to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I had one time my heat pump went out and they gave me four fifty. They said, but because whatever I don't remember what it was, but they were like, this is our price and this is what you get and it's over. I'm like, you know, I'm done. I'm done. Frederick, he's trying to find an attorney in Atlanta. They got to be everywhere down there to close subject two deals. Do you recommend anybody down there uh, for him, Eddie? Uh, a guy named Ken Chalker. Ken Chalker. Email me. I'll send, I'll send you his information. Yeah, he's Eddie's pretty, email. He's pretty cheap. I think he charged like a thousand bucks, man. He's like one of the cheapest attorneys. So Eddie's email is at the bottom. Both of our emails are in the... I finally put both of our emails in the video description, my friend. I don't consider any lead a dead lead until they say stop calling. That's a good point, Truly Gifted. Truly Gifted said he checks his email more than text messages and social media or anything else. Yeah, we were talking about that, that earlier. Kelly, take out the ad in the newspaper. And again, we're targeting 55-year-olds. Yes, true. What about targeting the obituaries, Eddie? What do you think about that? About what? Targeting the obituaries that come out of the newspaper. Well, you got to look them up, see if they have some properties first. Yeah, you got to know if they got any property. You can get that at the courthouse. I tried obituaries years ago, and just people call me crying and boo and I just... Man, I, you'd be so stressed. Yeah. I, <laughs> just go down to your local um county and get a probate list. Yeah, they'll give it to you. I desperately need the docs. Are the docs, both of our docs the same? No, they're different, Gwen. You can get either one. Either one of us, uh, our docs are going to get you to the finish line. Khalid, Philly. He's out in Philadelphia. Can I do a subject to here through a real estate agent? He wants to know, can he do a subject to through a real estate agent, Eddie? Through a real estate agent? Yeah, we just, we're doing one through an agent. Yep, can be done. Now, but I don't know if you can go like completely through your broker. I know you can do only financing through a broker. I haven't never, I've never seen any subject to docs that they have. So we, we use, so we, we, 
only thing we're doing, we the the it's listed with a broker. We're just gonna pay her a marketing fee. Flat fee. Com- yeah, flat, flat fee, fee marketing fee for her yeah. commission and you know, take over the house subject too, because there's nothing she could do with it. So Yeah. That's yeah, a you good can work point, with though. agents. Uh, that's another good thing, guys. You work with agents, man. Most of the people are gonna go to the agents first. And then when they see they can't sell through an agent, then they look for outside sources. So network with a lot of agents, man. Good agents that you go that, that's open to working with investors. Mm-hmm. That's a good point, Eddie. And another thing you said about the flat fee, because if you're buying a subject too, you might have three thousand out of pocket. You're buying a two hundred thousand dollar house. The agent, excuse me, the agent fee on that is you know, I mean twelve thousand dollars. So you, you got to. Right get how do you get creative with that a matter of fact i'm doing one of those right now in california go ahead twelve thousand dollars well we paying the one we got we're gonna pay a 12 grand so are you gonna I give mean, the I'm, agent 12 yeah we're gonna give 12 grand but the house got a lot of equity in it mm. okay that's different then that's different so was that three yeah. percent of whatever what what is what is twelve thousand what is what value is that what is that for it's about 400 the house worth 400 We'll I'm talking about what are you paying the six the twelve thousand for? Is that for three yeah, percent? Three percent, something like that. Three percent. So you're paying it all. You're paying the whole thing then. Yeah. Wow. Man, the house got about. Um, that's the one I was telling you about. It got about sixty, seventy in equity, but then when I short sell the other two, when I get the IRS lien removed and short sell this other lien, then that's going to create another ninety grand. Ah. So you have ca- you have equity there to cover that fee yeah. later. All right, I got you. Well, say if there was no equity, Eddie, how would you approach that? It's a good question. Oh, no equity, man. I I, I wouldn't even get it. I tell the agent, I I give you a thousand dollars. No, I give you five hundred, a thousand dollars. Be done with it. Yeah, that's it. Because they get nothing either way. A Al J, when selling on a lease option, let me ask you before we get to this question, Eddie. After you buy on subject two, what is your favorite way to sell? Lease option. Class, y'all hear that? Sell on a lease option, class. Now we'll sell on owner finance, but they gotta have a big down payment. The only reason I don't like to sell on the finance because you give up power. So if they stop paying, then you got to file eviction like a foreclosing attorney and start all that, that whole process over again. Yeah. Start evicting them like a bank. So unless you're in Texas, you got to do owner financing. So they got they got to come with a big boy down payment, man. I'm talking about a big one. Yeah. So Al J wants to know, oh, on our documents, do we sell the lease and the option, or do you give them just the lease? Well, the lease option to tenant buyers. Do we give the tenant buyer the lease and the option, or do you give them just the lease? Sorry about that, Al J. On the tenant buyer when you sell. When I see it, I give them the, the lease with the option. Yeah, it's two Al-J. separate documents. You got a lease document and you got an option document. That's right. Al J, hope you got that. Lease, option, two different things. Don't cross that fence, bro. Don't put them together. You're going to be sorry you did. When the judge says, hmm. We need to pay some back rent back to this guy. <laughs> if y'all didn't laugh at that, then you don't have. It. Uh... Truly gifted. How does the subject two work when a seller is eventually ready to buy a house again but can't qualify for the mortgage because they have one in their old house already? Great question. Mm-hmm. Well, they may have already? problems. Some of them have problems. But you know, we show that we bought the property. And you know, some lenders, it depends who they're going through. Some of them, you know, they they overlook it. Some won't. So you know, that's that's something they may have to encounter. That is, yep. Or you can give them a wrap note to wrap that, create a debt instrument that'll pay them on top of that. That will show them that they have income covering that debt. Say that again, Chris. So we got that. So you took over that that hundred thousand dollar loan, right? Yeah. We're going to create that wrap note. Here's your $100,000. Wrap it up. You owe the seller. Now you're paying the seller $1,000 a month. They can show this debt instrument to their new borrower covering this $1,000 a month. You know, whatever this first loan payment is, 
the note that you create for them because you're buying a subject too. Right. Subject to their first loan. If that rap note goes over there, they go to their new lender, they're going to say, hey, Mr. Lender, I have a debt instrument that's covering the debt that you're counting against me. Right. You can wrap that up. Use a rap note. That's what we do. Oh, okay, here we are. Uh, ultimate bargains. Ultimate bargains. I know you're the man. Rap note. He had it right here. Robel, do you have? Uh, do you mention that they may have difficult getting another loan in the near future when buying subject to? Mm, yeah, I will mention it. Let them know. They may have that problem, but they really don't care, man. You, you, most people, you know, they want to get out whatever their situation is. So, if it's a motivated seller, they're not going to care. No, the last thing they worry about is the next house that they hate. The house that they're giving to you anyway. Yeah, and I mean, worst case in that. If they want to, like I told, told um, I had one, he was trying to look for a house. I was like, look, that money that you're going to put for to get a new loan, <coughs> I find something that you do own the finance with. So mm. I own the finance them one of my properties. Wow. That's gangster. Yeah. That is gangster. Yeah, yeah. They have no problem. Come on, I, I'll take care of you. Come on back to pop. <laughs> Come on back. I'll just say like old, old pops. Come on back to pop. <laughs> <laughs> Truly gifted. <laughs> do you do the rap on the sale or do you create the rap down the line? We do the rap at the sale. They come to closing, they do sign the sub two docs, they sign that rap note covering up that loan, and then they're gone. And then they can foreclose on you if they have to. Because think about it, on a subject two, the seller has zero recourse unless you give them a rap note. That way they can foreclose on you. Brother Chris, what's up, Chris STL? Chris, they're right. rocking up that STL, man. Yeah, he is. Doing some stuff up there. Matt. Oh, we're not talking about that. All right, class. Any questions? Help us with some questions or direction so we can get this together. Eddie, this is going to be so good when we sit down and go over this. Angela, is there a way to do pre-foreclosure without the seller doing a self-filing bankruptcy? You got to bring the money to make up the back payments. Yep, you got to bring that money, bring that skrilla, Angela. Or in order for you to, in order for you to stop the foreclosure, you're going to have to do a bankruptcy or other ways. Evan, how do you find subject to? I just went over that earlier. How do you find subject to deals? Hey, fine. Pre foreclosure, bankruptcy, shit. I my first two deals, my first two subject two deals wasn't even behind on payment. One, like I said, that guy he was trying to get his girl fly her back over here from overseas, but not back over, but fly her in from overseas. Then the second one, she was getting married, so she was moving in with her um her husband, and so they would have had two properties. So she just wanted to get rid of it. She was an IRS auditor. Wow. She only That's wanted two crazy. grand because she didn't really have no equity. So she needed that two grand for a wedding and she was out. Good. That is so cool. Do we have a video on So probate? you just got to be marketing, man. Because if you marketing and you know what to look for and you know what to say to the people. I mean, when you get leads coming in, if you know how to do these transactions, several different transactions, I mean, you can always make leads, man. That's always right. make deals. That's true. But if you only got a set of wholesale lies when it's subject to and on the finance deals and, and lease purchases and stuff on the sideline, you'll miss out on it. You'll miss mm -hmm. out on a lot of opportunities. So you got to get knowledge, guy. Get you some education, man. That's the quickest way. Mm -hmm. And don't get – like I got some students – they get bogged down about what to do next, what to do next, what to do next. Shit, you got to market first. And then I'll help you along the way. But you got to market, man. Don't worry about all the little steps in between. You'll figure that shit out once it come in, man. What do I do next? What do I do? Yeah. Man, I can't, man. That's just kind of... Just market, please. <laughs> we'll figure out the rest, okay? God. Anyway. It'll come together though. It come together. I'm the same way. I think we all want to be handheld down to the check. Yeah. All right. I got. I got to keep you focused. Angela <laughs> wants to know: Does she need to learn how to stop the foreclosure in order to 
be effective with this strategy here? I would say so. What about I don't know what Eddie would say. Yeah, you need to learn how to stop it or have some deep pockets or have some private lenders. I mean, you basically only stop it two ways, well, three ways. Bankruptcy, catch up the rearages, or file an injunction. Now, I don't know if the injunctions are still working, but, you know, I have seen some clients file injunction against the bank. and That's, that's going to cost, how much is that going to cost? It's going to cost you about three to five hundred or so. Mm-hmm. That may or may not work. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's going to work that last one, but I know the first two work. <laughs> oh, yeah, the first two, obviously, but I yeah, know the bankruptcy works. That joint is a beast. Chris Monroe, what's up? Yeah, everybody, everybody wants free coaching. That is so true. Yeah, I enjoy paying. I want people to give me what the hell I pay for. Man, it's worth it at the end of the day. Just think about it. Every great damn player, every great person have coaches, man. Mm-hmm. You want a coach here to get you where you want to get to quick. Give me what I want. Instead give me what of I you pay. trying to figure this shit out on your own, wasting another year or two. <laughs> for real, man. It's a big difference, man. Angela, okay, just email either one of us. We both do consultations and the documents. Either one you like is fine. Whatever floats your boat. Mark, Chris, you want coaching? Okay, yeah, just please email me below. Mark, any if any coaching and documents you need, just email me. SJ, do you need a lawyer at closing or do you close it by yourself, Eddie? Lawyer, I always want to close with attorney, guys. Always. So you yeah. gotta fix you gotta figure that out. I like to tell students, you gotta when you're doing, see, this is not one of the no money down real estate you hear about. Now, you could do several deals like it's still that. Low, it's low money down. And you're talking about buying a $200,000 house for ten grand. I mean, shit. A, in my opinion, that's okay. Right. So you got to be prepared to put some money. You got to put some skin in the game. But you know, a lot of people think everything is a no money down deal. But subject to, you got to come up. You got to, you at least got closing costs. Even if the seller don't want anything, you got closing costs. That's right. Then if they're right. behind on payments, you got to catch up the back payments. And any repairs. Pay attorney fees, repairs, et cetera. Yeah. So when you're doing these subject tools, you gotta have you gotta have access to some cash. Doesn't but have to be yours. In light, you're getting in light lighter than normal. So hey, it's worth it. To me, man, it's just priceless. Eddie. You're getting house and you're moving back in time. I remember when I bought this one, the loan was already five years old. So I'm I'm like 12 years in, you know, when you're going back in time with that mortgage pay down. Yeah. Tunster wants to know what documents come included with the subject to. I went over them right here. Uh, can you subject to a probate? It has nothing to do with that. It's just about the loan. Kenneth. What you drinking? Water? Uh huh. Daniel, hey, he came back again. Thank you, brother Daniel. That is nice. Thank you, brother Daniel. Thank you for your love offering. Got two in here. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Somebody said, can you subject to a probate? Yep. All yeah. day. They got guess what? Get, guess what? He did, and he ain't going to complain about the mortgage. Nope. <laughs> but hey, he don't give a crap what you do with it. No, I don't. Darn, I'm lost, Eddie. Oh, Lithonia. Um, would you recommend getting inspection? Rich. Shoot, I feel like I'm lost on my... Uh... We already did the attorney, didn't we? Yeah. Angela, she said, can you um, get a paperless statement with the mortgage... Mortgage company email to you. Yeah, you can set it up that way also. Yep, yeah, you can. Okay, gotcha. I'm back. Theo, do I need to close with an attorney? Okay, we got that. Angela, can you sign up for the yes, paperless? I paid mine, Eddie. I paid my subject to online. Just paid it right on the on the internet. Yeah. Okay, elite integrity group. Sorry about that class. I'm my thing messed up. Can you sell the house to pay off this mortgage in a subject to deal? Hmm? Can you sell the house to pay the loan off? Yeah. Yes. You own it. It's your you house. It. You do whatever the hell you want. You want to with it. I will not it. Huh? And on the top of the mother, if you want to. And sip Kool-Aid. 
Eddie, I, you know what? I think about Ron when I, I, Elite Integrity Group. I'm happy that you're asking questions, but I, some of these, some of these joints, man, Ron would just be slaughtering people. Man, he 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 he, 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 he don't have no filter for real. Though. He gonna go off on you, hurt your feelings. You said, but I think bro, huh? quick. <laughs> ask the wrong question it's your ass <laughs> Elite I'm, I love you uh, you own the house I think we need to get you know Eddie I, a lot of my family members need to understand that you own the house you can sell it and pay the loan off or sell it and keep the loan in place it doesn't matter it's yours yeah do whatever you want to with it do whatever we want that's what it is would you catch up almost oh Rashida hey Rashida would you catch up Payments that are almost three years behind without if there is no equity. Wow. Hey, no. no, me neither. You short sure sell it. Yeah, you short sure sell with that. A and A REI Co. Would you be willing to do a joint venture on a subject two deals if someone were new? Absolutely. You ready? Yep. But I ain't gonna do all the work. Shit, people want you know they want to hire you, dog, and then they want to just sit back and do a, get a check. I ain't doing that. Hey, no. Gotta put some skin in the game, baby. Some working skin or some money skin. Yep. Oh, we already went over that. Zarnell wants to know why can't you train him for free? Hell no, Zarnell. <laughs> you don't put no value on it. I've learned that if you don't pay for it, it's no, no value. That's what anything. Notice that most people they don't put any money or do anything. They don't give a crap. No, they don't. I can't imagine, I can't remember not one person that I've given free information to that has been beneficial. It just doesn't life doesn't work like that. Man, you know what it is. Because people put value, like I even think about my kids, certain stuff I do, you give them stuff, they don't care about certain stuff. But when I, I make them put money in, like when the one on one of his real real estate license, I said, Okay, it was only like I think five hundred bucks. I gave two hundred and um, no, I gave three hundred and you put in two hundred. Nice. That way you buy you would take your butt to class. Nice, nice. I like that. Yeah, man. Gwen is screaming at you. She said she emails you, but Mister T E did not respond to her e her email. Shame on you, Gwen. Okay. Go back to your hundred I, emails I, and check. Gwen, don't forget the man is busy. Don't be ashamed or bashful to send two or three emails. The dude is doing, you know, and including myself, including me. Don't 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 be mad at sending two or three emails. It's, it's nothing personal. Yeah, nothing personal. We're rocking and rolling, man. Nate K, he's in Pennsylvania. Subject two is alive and well up there. Did one recently with a coaching client. Subject two is a no money down. Subject two is still a no money down strategy, or should he focus on getting wholesale deals? Yeah, I can't answer that one. That would be on. Wholesale, wholesale lease options, and sandwich lease options. I got a course on that too. Yeah, that's um, right. Wholesale, wholesale. If you want no money down deals, you want to do wholesale, wholesale lease options, and sandwich lease options and options. So I got a course on that. Miss, go to Miss Transaction Engineer. Yeah. Dot com. I'll put the link down here for him too, Eddie. I'll put the link in the video description. Okay. Sorry about that. Robel, do you add the seller as additional insured on the insurance policy, Eddie? <clears throat> no. Yeah, I get my own insurance. There you go. You get two. Yeah, I'll get two policies. It depends on, for me, it depends on how much meat is on the bone. Yeah. SJ, can you do a substitution of collateral on subject two deals? No, because you do not, you never sign for that financing. You can't move that financing around. What we do is we move, Eddie, what we do is with private lenders, we do something called substitution of collateral. We can move the debt to different properties. It's crazy. I'll do a class uh, for that later. Damn. Really? Man, it's crazy, dude. It's amazing, man. You could sell the house. Anyway, I don't get to it. Yeah, I have very little. No. Yeah. Chris, do I have an attorney? Uh, Rich Therese. Ter says, do I have an attorney that I can recommend that closes VA deals in VA, Hampton Roads? You can reach out to George Tillerson. He's not an attorney, but he has one on file, and Mike Hamer will do these. Robert, Eddie. Robert wants to know with Eddie, when taking a pre foreclosure sub to, what's your process for getting modification done? Wow, that's a long one. Hey, everybody want to know about that modification. Man, that's, that's not a short one, man. I wish I could explain it on here. 
it's, it's gonna take too long, Rob. You, you can email you about that. Cooperation with the seller. Just shoot me an email. Let's in the feed. Chris put it in there. Yeah, I'll give you a breakdown on it. That's a long one right there. Yeah, that one might not even be a free one, huh, Eddie? I give him a little nuggets, a couple of nuggets. But that's that's a process. Yeah, it's like a short sale. If you know about short sale, same process. process. You got to get all kind of documents in to the bank and stuff. Khalik Muhammad, hey brother Khalik, he wants to know if the owner is behind. Do you use the money from the lease option buyer to catch up the seller's payments? Yes, if you have enough time. Yep. If you're not facing foreclosure in a week, unless you can get a deal closing at a quick, quick time like that, it'll work. Ultimate Barkins has a great point. You cannot hide the option from the judge. That's why you want to have two different documents. Two different documents. We're not trying to hide anything, but it's still two different. You don't want to mix them together when you're selling on a lease option. Guys, hit the thumbs up button too, guys. If you like this video, you learned something today, you got empowered today, hit the yeah. thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of questions coming in, Eddie. Thank you Shit, for that. They still roll. What the? Don't uh, face. You got time, Eddie, or you going? I got. Look, I have time today. Just... Yeah, I got probably about Would you 10 more minutes. Okay. Dull face. Would you, Shay, would you take on a sub two where the mortgage is behind five years of payments plus needs repair? It's, it's, it's an exceptional subdivision. I would. I mean, numbers work. It's the number. They got to have equity. If you spend that money to catch it up, you got to have equity. Or you you work with the seller and do a modification. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't feel comfortable catching that up. I, it may make me feel funny just thinking about it. I would do it's worth a million dollars and you only um oh four five hundred. Should I catch it up? Oh yeah, it depends. Like that now, come on. Dad. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. You know, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's a no brainer. Now, if it got a lot of meat on the bone like that, you better do it quick. Yeah. Or if you don't want to, send it to me and Chris. There you we'll go. Tighten it up for you. A class, I have to tell you, the money part. God, it's such the easiest part. When you got a good deal, and people will throw money at you. Is that yeah. your experience, Eddie? Yeah. Don't worry, the money is it should be the least of your worries. Rich, does a power of attorney give you power to do a loan modification? That's a good question, Eddie. Does that give you the power to do the loan modification on your seller's behalf? But yeah, you you need anything, but you still were gonna need like when you're doing a loan modification, you still gonna need like their pay stubs. They gotta work with you. So I got a little a, a little um I think on my on my um no I put it in my contract that they'll work with me on the on the uh, modification. I like that. I like yeah. that. I put it on the in the contract. Yeah, five years is a beast. I've seen seven years behind, man. Shit. Yeah, some people can ride, man. Skyler wants to know you're just starting out. What are the ways to raise capital for reinstatement? I'm going to leave that one alone, Eddie. If you want to turn, I don't know. He's starting out. What do they say? Skylar Milton wants to know how can she raise money to to for reinstatement fees for pre, pre, for pre foreclosures or bring in state bring in state uh, loans. Current. Bring in the your current. Just think about people who you. Well, it's easy if you're dealing with investors. Go to your local real, see who the high rollers are, mm -hmm. get their cards, and call them up. Hey. If I get these pre foreclosure deals, how much would you charge me on the money? Or you making wholesale some of these, some of these you can wholesale seventy two deals too, guys. That's the best ones. So we that's a we're gonna put that in the course or what? Wholesaling sub Zeus? Yeah, why not? Shit, man, that, that's gonna add another week or two to the course. <laughs> man, that is uh that's just gravy. You're selling a house and you're selling financing, dude. No, no brain. Daniel wants to know if the house is burned down, who gets paid? Can you add the additional insurance? Great question, man. Mm. That's why we put, well, I don't know what Eddie just said. We have two policies, Daniel. This policy with the lender, with the seller stays in place. You file on this one. The first one stays in place, never gets a claim. Is that yeah. where you're thinking is, Eddie? Uh, we yeah. file first. Just file with this leadership. Pull the trigger first, baby. Yeah, it. Don't even touch the one in the seller's name. That's what I. That's what I do. 
Shannon, Atlanta, Georgia, does purchase and sale agreement list your trust, or do you just utilize the trust at closing? Mm-hmm. You got that one, Eddie? Atlanta, Shannon wants to know, does, does the purchase and sale agreement list your trust, or do you utilize the trust at closing? Either or. You can do either or. It does list your trust. I usually yeah. do them. I do my subject, too. I put go ahead and put them in a the trust. Yeah. But that's not part of you don't have the reason I don't put those together Eddie, is because I don't want people thinking that you have to use a trust you know what I mean I, that's what we do yeah well yeah I would never not do it you know but everybody's different just don't take it in your name oh my lord how how does the seller elite integrity how does the seller protect if you sell the house and you still don't fulfill the agreement on repaying the money to the bank You got that one, Eddie? Is the house to sell protected? If you sell the house and you still don't fulfill it. it, it see, subject two would benefit the investor, guys. It don't benefit <laughs> the seller now because their their life is in your hand. It does benefit them, Eddie. Shit, they well, gonna lose the house either way. It does free them up of that debt. But they have a risk if you don't pay it. So, What's the risk other than the risk is other than their credit going to trash? Yeah. You can get that fixed these days in about six to nine months. So that's my point. Yeah. Elite integrity. Yeah, I think you're overthinking. A lot of people like to speculate and overthink this. You're gonna make the payments. If you sell it subject to it, they're gonna make the payments. Eddie? Right. Make the payments. Don't even have that in your mind. Zarnell, Eddie wants to know. See if you guys on the, she mess with us, man. I know her. <laughs> oh, okay. Free training. I ain't messing with that. Uh... All right, only a few left. Talk about the insurance policy stuff. Matt wants to know more about that. We have been on here for an hour and a half, Matt. We're done. We'll have the course ready for you in a few weeks, my friend, on that one. But the insurance policy, don't overthink it. Is it you want to add anything to the insurance, Eddie? Yeah, don't overthink it. Don't worry about that. Just have your policy. Yeah. Manton, how do we differ from Joe McCall? I don't know. Who is Joe McCall? It's another guy. We all learned from the same guy. He learned from Ron, too. Yeah, man. That's another guy. He's been around. Hey, almost everybody came from Paul. So Basically. Young are our age now. All the rest of them dead. The bold focus. <laughs> Uh, Low key wants to know: Will you give the seller a ten ninety nine at closing when giving them money for subject to or owner finance? I have. Yeah, I have. Especially if it's a nice amount. Yep, I certainly have. Deo, do you screen the leads you market to for subject to or just market in general and determine the strategy depending on the deal? I think so. Yeah, I do. Yeah, see what else we ever come. Yeah, pre, we pre screen the we pre screen the leads. You always want to know exactly what you're targeting, but anything may come through. But you still want to know what kind of leads you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skylar came. Hey, Ibrahim, what's up, my brother? Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. If the mortgage is higher than the rent in the area, that's going to be rough. If the mortgage is higher than the rent, would you separate taxes and insurance from payment? No, you can't do that. You can't do that. You still got to pay it, whether it's separate or not. Yeah. You got to pay it separate or not. You can't get around that, Skylar. The shit, I used to be like that, too, trying to get the taxes and insurance off the loan. Either way, you got to pay. Network, 73. Where does the down payment come from with the lease option tenant? Where does it go? It goes, who was it? That's Network 73. Network 73 goes to Hill Pocket National Bank. The best, <laughs> bank, the best bank for that go to. Hill Pocket, baby. It go right in your pocket. <laughs> now, he's saying that generally speaking, generally speaking, but if you're behind a million dollars, then you need to put some of that into the rear ears. Right. Khalid, if I buy a subject to, can I sell a subject to? Oh, yes. Eddie? Yep. All day. All day. You own it, Khalid. You do whatever you want. Daniel, Chris, let's say the seller dies. This is my favorite question here. 
has a will for the house to go to the kids. What is the next steps to take? You can't sell something you don't own, my friend. You can't sell something you don't own. You already bought it, it's over. That's like, for instance, if I have a house that I sold it already, but I got a will, it's already sold. Just It doesn't, I mean, the house is sold. Good question, though. Piotr oh, Salon. Oh, oh. Huh? He said if it died and it went to the kids, what would be the next step? Oh, when, I thought you... All the kids will have to sign off on the deed and sell the house. Oh, this is before like we bought it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. He said, like, he said, so let's say the buyer dies, has a will for the house to go to the kids. What is the steps to take? They got to get it probate first. Mm -hmm. Well, if they got a will, though. They still got to go down there, man. All they can do is sign off on it. Yeah, you still got to take it through the probate process. So they need to go down to the courthouse, start a probate process. And when they come through, you need to be ready. Just get that will. Yeah, once you give them that will. That's why I don't like having properties in that class. That's exactly why we never put houses in our name. <laughs> Eddie, I wish how much money would we have if we could just, every time we see this, we would get 25 cents? We have almost a million. <laughs> Dude, I'll be <laughs> talking to my, Don't put the house in your name. All right. Uh, Daniel, my local trusted <laughs> pocket. Peter, Piotr, can I put performing note in place in, in case you do not perform as an investor? Previous owner can foreclose. Yes, remember we talked about rap note. That's where your rap notes comes in, class. Piotr, Piotr, uh, Piotr Salon. Uh, that usually puts performance loan in the bid. That's right, Daniel. We're gonna give you five dollars for that one. Ibrahim, do bandit signs work for subject to marketing? Eddie. Yep. Full price for your house. Full price for your house. Eddie, final thoughts. Let's get up out of here, man. Final thoughts. We're done. We'll take some of these questions and um man, this has been a long one today, bro. Good lord. I'm glad we had the time. Yeah. Um, final thoughts, guys. Get out there, take action. Get you some properties, man, and hold on to them. Don't sell everything. Hold Why do you say that, Eddie? Why do you say don't sell everything? Because you need that cash flow, man. Cash flow is king, baby. Cash flow. That cash, cash flow gets you out that job, baby. Cash yeah. flow. Now, give us what is your what is your definition of cash flow as opposed to cash? Residual income coming in every month. Hold on for a second. Jay. Eddie says cash flow. The cash is flowing to him. Jay class this is a concept that took me so many years to understand i mean it probably took me 10 years to comprehend cash flowing the cash is flowing because in everyday life your cash is flowing away from you class it's flowing away from you when you wake up in the morning you got to turn the water on go to the water company cut the lights on go to the light company put your clothes on the clothing headphones food you're eating what else the furniture that you own <clears throat> shoes you're wearing whatever, the utility, the utensils that you use, everything is designed to flow away from you. Your cash is flowing away from you. So we have to turn that around. That's why Eddie says we must keep some assets so your cash can flow to you. God, it took me so long to understand that concept. Yes, subject to contract. Oh, shit. The subject to contract, uh, Chauncey, the subject to contract give us grace period to find a tenant buyer. They don't, you can, that's how you set it up with the seller. You don't have to. It's up to you. Cold calling time. Robel, you something. Dio, if you're doing a short sale, can the seller remain in the house till the sale is complete? Yes, they can. But I want them gone before you buy. You better not be, Dio, better not be buying a house, leaving a seller in there. We don't do that. All right, class. I'm, I'm getting ready to get up out of here. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And Friday, I'll be with... Uh, my attorney and friend, Jessica Siegel. See, they're going to be 2 or 3 o'clock. We're going to be talking about partnerships. All right, Eddie, we gone, man. All right, guys. Y'all have a great, 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 great day. Peace. Yes, sir. God bless you.